Hey everybody, I'm Ron Jeanette, and today I'm coming to you from Bellevue, Washington, and I'm at the fantastic West Coast Drum Shop. I'm here with Chris and Chase, and uh, I'm going to do some chatting about my drums. I think it's been 15 years since I purchased the, uh, uh, the George Way Company, and I've been rolling that very heavy ball uphill for 15 years, and what you're looking at here is the culmination of all that work. Um, these are uh, the latest. These came out uh, two years ago with the uh, Aristocrat lug, which was uh, George Way's original lug design. He had des done it in the 50s when he worked for Leedy. For whatever reason, Leedy decided that they weren't going to use it, and he kind of shelved it. And then when he finally came out with his lug, he had somehow managed to lose the tabs, so it was just the perfectly round one. So. Um, you know, the natural progression of things was to, when I bought the company, was to come up with a tuxedo lug first, uh, just to test the waters and see how the response was, and also, you know, being limited in resources, having to let the whole thing grow organically. So yeah, finally the time came, it's like, well, if I'm gonna keep doing this uh, and restoring the company to, to what it was, it's, it's time to do the single lug. So, um, so there it is, George's original design, and I really like the look of it. I kept it true to the originals as much as I possibly could. Most of those drum companies at the era of George Way were using, you know, maple, poplar, black gum, sweet gum. And so what I did with this one, this is an acacia kit. And for anybody who doesn't know, acacia is like a very fast growing uh, cousin of koa. And I did some, a little bit of uh, research based on how I thought that that wood was gonna work and perform. And, it's just a fantastic wood for making a drum set out of. So these shells, the kit shells are four ply with a reinforcement ring. And these feature the beloved uh, LA Camco edges, which are not cut at, at any particular angle. They're actually radiused beautifully. So that bearing edge is almost like a mold for a drum head. If you were gonna make a drum head, you'd use that to make it. So when you're tensioning the drum, it just feels very natural and getting the drum to the interval that you want it to be at is, is quite easy. So I call this a transition model. I wanted to do something that was a little bit special. So, um, and as part of the transition itself, in addition to the lug, there's also the throw off. So, but this is the precision throw off and it's, it's very much based on George Way's original precision. It looks like it, it operates a little bit differently. It's got seven positions. It swivels both directions. So you have multiple settings that's off one, two, three tensions, and then it goes the other way as well. Uh, being dyslexic, I like things going, <laughs> I always think there's a certain duplicity that I like to incorporate in the design. So, and then on the inside, there's a badge, a paper badge, and George Way is my hero for so many reasons, and uh, he's an unsung hero in our industry. Uh, anybody who's playing a set of drums, I always say this, you owe George a debt of gratitude because there's one of his designs on your drum, no matter what you're playing. And uh, so I put a little paper badge on the inside and when I received his um, personal estate and artifacts from his, uh, his work from Rob Cook, in it were some uh, typesetting stamps that had his signature. And so instead of getting George to sign it, I'm actually using his typesetting signature. So he actually does have his signature on the inside of the drum, which is, I kind of like how that is. There it is, that's the uh, transition model. Um, I think I'm making about 20 of those and then that's it.